Flash business ni kiganiro kibumba kiyama kuri ubukungu kiraguhuza n'inzobere n'abajyanama mu by'ubukungu ndetse n'ishora mari abafite za business nam iyi niyo nzira imwe rukumbi yo kuguhuza n'abakiriya maze ishora mari ryawe rikaguka Flash TV, I thank you to be with us. Uh, this is tonight. We are going to have uh, Flash Business. Flash Business, you are with me, guest uh, with the Berishina Bizimana. Also, we have uh, our guest tonight, uh, Dr. Sanja Michael. Yeah, Dr. Sanja Michael, thank you so much for coming for our program. Uh, tonight, we are going to talk about campus, uh, University of Kigali, campus in Musanze. For professional, what about professional in the Musanze campus? The last time we talked about uh, the, the whole campus, the whole university. <coughs> Uh, thank you very much. Uh, just like uh, we had talked about uh, having the, the, the graduate school and uh, the undergraduate in the University of Kigali, I will first of all give up uh, a background of what uh, we have in Musanze. Mm. Musanze is uh, a campus for University of Kigali. Yes. And I will also say that uh, Musanze has got uh, all full-fledged uh, full-fledged issues which we also offer in Musanze, uh, the, the programs which we offer in Musanze are also fully offered in the University of Kigali. Just like I said, uh, graduate school, we are offering the masters and we offer also the, 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 the bachelors uh, in Musanze also. And also Musanze, just like uh, I talked about the resources, Musanze has also got full resources. When we talk about labs, laboratory it has also full-fledged laboratories. It has uh, also a full-fledged library. Uh, you realize that uh, Musanze as a campus, it taps from mm. main campus, mm. which is University of Kigali. Uh, that is the main campus uh, here in Kigali. But the lecturers teach across. Okay. You find that the lecturers who teach in uh, the main campus also teach in Musanze. But also Musanze has got its own are lecturers which are also stationed within Musanze. Mm. Just like you could understand, Musanze is located in the northern province. Yeah. And uh, being the northern province, it actually, its catchment, it, it, it taps from the northern province, but it also extends in the western province, mm. uh, all the way from Rubafu. But you find the students come from all the way from those. Mm. Areas. But I think maybe before you, you go to open that campus in Musanze, there is, was a challenge for students who was coming from there. Uh, why, uh, why we triggered, or University of Kigali came up to open a, actually a campus in Musanze, mm -hmm. we had a lot of uh, need. Of course, we did what we call a need assessment. Mm -hmm. And uh, our need assessment indicated that uh, we had very many students who were streaming from Musanze and traveling coming to Kigali. Okay. to Kigali City. Mm. But because of that, we said we have to set a campus uh, at Musanze. And then we equipped mm. the campus. Uh, just as I've said, the resources, all of them, were put there. Mm. Maybe, mm. yes, please. Mm. Yeah. I was going to ask uh, which kind of maybe courses do you offer in Musanze? Yeah, the courses which we offer in Musanze, mm. we offer a uh, full undergraduate most uh, courses mm. are offered there this is bachelor's courses are offered in Musanze, but also graduate school mm. uh, is also there but it also offers the masters mm. uh, masters in information management uh, systems uh, masters in business information management mm. is offered there uh, we have also masters in procurement mm. and chain supply is mm. also offered in Musanze. Okay. we also have masters in project management Mm -hmm. uh, almost all the, 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 the programs which we offer in the main campus here in Kigali, we also offer them at Musanze campus. Okay. But you find that the specializations mm. are almost the same. Okay. The resources, they share the same. Okay. And uh, just like I said, we have a digital library. Mm. So one would ask, does Musanze also have a digital library? Yes, mm -hmm. we have a digital library. It has fully, it's fully electronic. And at the same time, it also has... Uh, 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 well capacity of the employees or rather the we we talk we, we talk about the technicians mm. there are technicians who are in the lab who are deployed in Musanze these technicians they work across sometimes they work in, 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 in Kigali campus they also work in, in Musanze okay yeah they are highly qualified mm. and of course we always uh, based on the lecturers the cream of the lecturers who teach in the main campus. They also teach in Musanze. Okay.
Okay, which kind of certificate you give to the student? Is it the same or is the, this different? Actually, if you look at uh, the degrees which are offered during the graduation for that case, mm. the undergraduate, the graduate school, mm. they will all graduate at the same, same place. Mm. They graduate at the main campus. Mm. So meaning that the degree which are offered in Msanza are the same. Mm. These students will always graduate at the same time. They learn, if you look at the timetable, you find that the timetable uh, allocation is actually equivalent. Mm. Like currently we are on the lockdown. Okay. So during this lockdown, we have got our systems platform, which is fully online. Mm. And uh, our students are in position to reach the lecturers. Mm. We have a platform which enables the students to tap from the system mm. to download the materials. Mm. But also, the system has got videos. Okay. So the videos stream directly to the students. The students are in position to enter, to log in. Of course, one would ask, is, can anybody enter the system? Mm. We have securities. Mm. The is security it, has been put that only our students will log in. The students did not face any problem, maybe doing the internet to study, because last time, uh, last time I, I know there are some students who were like, uh, complaining about the internet, but not your maybe university, but some of this from other universities. What about your university? To of course, to when, it, when it comes to the issue of uh, internet, we have got some few fluctuating issues. Mm. When you go deeper in internet, you find that uh, sometimes it depends on the weather. Mm. Also, sometimes of uh, the environmental capturing. Mm -hmm. We have sometimes what we call uh, refractions, okay. which sometimes affect the waves in flow. And those ones there may affect any other person, even when you are using a phone. But it's not so serious when our students are using the internet. Mm. Uh, we have trained them. And in a manner that uh, basically even to ration the flow of the bandwidth, okay. the way they use the internet. Mm. And because of the training we've given them, the induction we have, we, we have given them, they're in the position to open quickly, log in on the portal, mm. access the course, okay. ask questions. Mm. And then they see the videos, mm. the display of material is very clear. So which means uh, someone, if he lose uh, the class uh, online, he can get after? Yeah, okay. Of course, we have fully recorded videos which come in terms of YouTubes. Mm. So when a student has a problem for that case and he misses, mm. then he's in a position to follow up mm. the class by looking at the video. Okay. They will have to look at the video. Mm. They will clearly even ask questions. But also, we also do the assess. The assessment is very clear. Mm. We even do assessment on the system. Mm. We have what they call group assignments. Mm and individual assignments. Okay. There is interactive class whereby the lecturer will ask questions. Mm. But after that, the lecturer will post the assignment on the system. Okay. And the student will download okay. that particular sound assignment. Mm. Mm. So when they download the assignment, they are in position to do it at their own pace. But of course, they follow the video. The video they will follow. And at the same time, it will help them in terms of maybe recovering what they have lost. OK. Yes. What about this certificate uh, public account? Uh, can you explain about that? Maybe some people is watching as they can knew. Yeah, of course, as I go to that, basically we have the School of Professional and Executive. Mm. This school offers the CPAs. Mm. There is what we call CPA Rwanda. Mm. We have CPA Kenya. But all these uh, are offered in University of Kigali General. Mm. But at Musanze also, mm. we offer the same. And uh, maybe you should be aware, or this is what I can bring to the public, that um, University of Kigali is actually privileged that it is actually training mm -hmm. mostly uh, the government accountants, mm. auditors. Mm. It has been given the mandate. And when you look at Musanze specifically, mm -hmm. it is only University of Kigali which has been given the mandate, in other words, accredited, mm -hmm. to train, uh, to train, uh, in the northern province mm. and western province. Okay. It's only the University of Kigali. But when it comes to Neo Kigali as a province, where we have three districts, that's when we have got now sharing. University of Rwanda also will train. But we are taking 38%. Mm. In other words, the government accountants, auditors, we are training 38%. And if you can look at even the resources, mm. so maybe I can look at uh, the advantages which what do university 
of Kigali offer in mm. terms of advantages to the students who are learning in the University of Kigali? Mm. One, when a student has enrolled a master's degree, has enrolled a bachelor's degree, and he also now attends like a CPA mm. in the University of Kigali, either at Musanze mm. or at the main campus, they will do it for free. Okay. They will only pay exams, but tuition they will earn free. By the way, I think that's the advantage. Yeah. Yes. The way, what's the difference between the University of Kigali with the other universities? Maybe if... Of course, now I've provided that particular, like a difference we have said that uh, you will find no other university is teaching a tuition free that is when a student in, enrolls and then they teach them tuition free mm -hmm. for CPA. Mm. Actually, you, it's not possible, but University of Kigali is teaching. Mm. We actually teach all, all these courses you've seen uh, specifically under these professional and executive programs, they will be taught free mm. of tuition, uh, free of charge. Mm. But they only pay for exams. And somebody again asks, what's another advantage? Mm. The difference. The difference is that uh, most of uh, uh, our students are practitioners. You'll find that mostly are bankers. Some of them are bankers. And because they are bankers, it also gives us an advantage that when students are doing like a master's in accounting, they will also enroll a CPA. That's an advantage. Mm. They will practice, and at the end of the day, you'll find that they will enrich mm. uh, their ends, and at the same time, their practice will have to improve. The experience will improve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I can see the certificate investment financial. What about that? This? Yeah, certificate investment uh, financial is actually offered within the University of Kigali as a whole. That is on that particular specific uh, program. Mm. But this one here prepares a student to be in position mm. uh, to learn on how to perform the investment, but at the same time, mm. to even at the end of the day, when they are finished, they are also in, in, in position to practice, but also to even teach. Mm. Uh, most of the students whom we have trained uh, hours on our, in, in the university, you mm. find that some of them actually, they are now practicing uh, lecturers. Mm. They practice, they, they do teach. Okay. And at the same time, when you look at even their promotion portfolio has come because of doing such like courses. Is this course like CAT. Mm. If you look at CAT, actually, we are the unique uh, university which is offering mm. a CAT under that particular program. But you find that this is one of the courses which came around and it was a bit uh, it has been hard for most of uh, the students to pass it. But remember, for us, as I told you, we are globaling 34%. Okay. And uh, most of our students, we always assure them a pass. Mm. It's possible that uh, these courses can be done, like I've told you, within the city of Kigali we are sharing. Mm. But if you look at the mostly the, the, the passing rate, mm. University of Kigali leads. Okay. That one there speaks for itself. Actually, it's there even on the, if you, if you Google on the internet, you find that we actually, we, mm. are, we, are, we are leading in terms of the, the passing rate, okay. our students pass. How do they pass? Mm -hmm. We've said, we teach tuition free. Mm. We also have lecturers mm. who are actually highly qualified. Mm. And when you find that we have put specifically lecture halls, which will train, mm. not that they just come to sit exams, they will train them and then they will also practice. Mm. That's why you find that the passing rate is high also gives them hands-on practice in terms of material which we supply. Mm. We have got lab, which of course supplements these students with various materials related to what they are learning. Okay. Yes. How, do you, how do you get the professors who come to teach in your university? Maybe I, if I ask. Yeah, actually, uh, how we get our professors, mm. we always use actually the, the normal way of recruitment. First of all, we, we advertise. Okay. When you go to our website, you find that we have, ab, bab, we have advertised. Mm. That's why you find that the professors and the doctors who are teaching are globally. We are having professors from Nigeria, Ghana, Cameroon, eh, Niger. We are also having some who are streaming all over here from Kenya, mm. eh, okay, North Africa, India. Mm. Of course, most of them, but you now find out uh, that they are reaching is that they also look for a performing university. Mm. That's the first thing. Okay. Another issue is that they are always attracted because they also see the resources which the university has. Mm -hmm. 
Another issue is that uh, the motivation component. Okay. We motivate our lecturers are highly motivated, mm -hmm. and uh, just like even the issue of uh, we always provide trainings. The trainings which we provide to the lecturers are ongoing pro uh, yeah. trainings. We don't just leave uh, perform. Uh, actually continuous. They are performing, but the training is on. Okay. Like uh, last week only, we've provided five trainings mm. for online. Not that they don't know how to teach online, mm. but we continue capacity building. Them. Okay. They practice, they do it, mm. and at the end of the day, they also now distribute the same to the, to okay. the students. So you'll find that we may have actually doctors and professors who may be unique in the class because we give them capacity building. Is your certificate comes to the international way or is just... Actually, our, our certificates or rather are aggregated. Mm -hmm. They are aggregated by Higher Education Council. Mm -hmm. which of course mm -hmm. it is the regulator of the country but like uh, one time I had, the, I had said uh, our certificates are actually highly recognized because just like we have several uh, students who come from all over Africa you'll mm -hmm. find that when they earn our certificates they never lose market mm -hmm. this is because this certificate the value and the hands-on practice we always provide to the students. Okay. It makes the students who are in position to practice, even outside to display. The practical hands-on mm. is very important. Okay. Actually, mostly it's all about, can you do it? Yes, I can do it. Okay, do it. Mm -hmm. Most of the interviews come like that. Mm. And our students are in position to, to sell in the market because they, they have hands-on. I can see you have also international public sector accounting standards. Yes. Now, international public sector accounting mm. standard, we offer it. And just like I've said, we have lecturers who stream from globally. Mm -hmm. And we're in position, even the ones who are teaching, yes. not only do we uh, rely on uh, maybe uh, lecturers from uh, which range, mm -hmm. but we always tap lecturers from all over, uh, all over the world. Okay. We catch up and then at the same time, mm -hmm. we always recruit mm -hmm. these lecturers on high market demand. And uh, maybe what I could say is that uh, what is this high market demand is that um, our lecturers are highly competitive. Mm. This is because, of course, after we've done the recruitment, just like I, I said, we do the capacity building. Okay. And because now that capacity building enables them to be in position to, to handle such like. Like, for example, we also have, um, we teach courses like international law. Yes. So international law, we find that at the end of the day, it is in the position to handle mm. within the country and also outside the country. Okay. Yeah, therefore, uh, at the end of the day, you find that uh, not only do we benefit our students within, but also outside. Mm. We, we, we say that when a student goes outside different country, they have to perform. Okay. And that's why our certificates which we offer, mm. but of course, when they have graduated, they always have a high market. I can, see where, uh, I can see your university have a uh, high level for education or uh, the teaching some students. students. Yes. So yes. how do you help students then uh, maybe about payments to make sure that maybe they are just paid the way they can? Uh, of course, our students, in terms of payment, we have got uh, a set up, a policy which always organizes the payment forum. Mm. One is that uh, we enable students to pay mm. a in terms of ratio, like for example, on the module system, mm. we can allow a student to pay on deposit. Mm. He can pay a, either three deposits. Okay. Yeah, three deposits before he completes. But mm. in most cases, as we are, as I've said, the university mm. has high flexibility. Mm. We don't push students okay. that you'd have paid, you'd have paid. No, mm. we always actually deal with students as friends, mm. as our brothers and our sisters. Mm. Yes. Okay. Actually, it's more like a family. Mm. Mm, about the accounting, technical, about technic, uh, accounting also. Uh, CAT. Yeah, CAT. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you look at the CAT, you find that uh, our university, it is one of the unique universities which is having a highly qualified mm. uh, lecturers who are handling that mm. component of CAT. Mm. CAT, just like I said, it has been a bit crucial in a manner that uh, Many students could enroll it, but passing was a problem. Mm -hmm. But in the University of Kigali, because of the techniques which we have in terms of teaching, mm. we also have a, 
the, 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 the greeting approach, the resource supply. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, the library resource catch up, which provide sample papers for such. Okay. The sample papers, past papers are provided. Mm -hmm. Okay. The hands on recruitment is also done. Okay. And then we also allow these students to interact. You see, these are practitioners. Some of them are actually uh, paid for or are sponsored by the government. Mm. But we make sure that they have come in a class. Mm -hmm. They do presentation. Okay. They are presenting. They are in position to now handle mm. and repeat questions which I are predicted to come. But also from the resources. And from there now, the lecturer guides them. Mm. And teaches them at the end of the day. Then they do the presentation. Okay. So by the time these students do that exam, mm. they are prepared. Do you help them to get maybe attachment after to get diploma or to finish class? Yeah, actually, on, in terms of attachment, just like I said one time, uh, we have a full-fledged uh, setup of how we link our students on attachment, mm -hmm. industrial attachment and internship. And just like I said, we have a highly qualified doctors, uh, specifically, uh, who coordinate mm. internship in terms of coordinators. Okay. We also have field supervisors. Mm -hmm. The supervisors from the university, we have supervisors who are in those respective areas. Okay. For example, when we have linked our student to the bank, mm. if we link our student to the bank, like I, I and M bank, yes. We shall have a supervisor in I am them, mm -hmm. bank. We shall also provide a qualified supervisor also to go and engage the student and check through what we call a student a field logbook. So our coordinator will also go and monitor. Mm. We we'll monitor the filing system. We we'll monitor the logbook, the accuracy, entry, and the capturing. Okay. Then at the end of the day, this will be brought to the university. So in other words, we have a monitoring component. Mm. This is also done in, this, the, the, in, in, in the School of Education. We also have another program, which is PGDE. But basically, these students, when they are completing, we always subject them to also what is known as field practice. Mm. Where do they do the field practice? Mm -hmm. They will go to the secondary schools. Mm. They will now practice as teachers, yes. they go there and they teach practically, mm. and uh, our uh, lecturers supervise them. Mm. There at that particular secondary school, they also have a supervisor. Mm. So when the students are finished, or rather, towards that, our field coordinator mm. will now monitor and write a report, mm. but the students also will write reports which means we also train students to practice and to write a report and how they will also supervise. Okay. So in other words, even in education, just like I've said, like PGD, mm. we have actually produced several uh, products from the University of Kigali, but it's actually doing very well because we have put tight uh, supervision criteria, mm. monitoring criteria mm. from both the university by providing the coordinators I've said, but also the management monitors. Mm. They will monitor the supervisors on the ground, they monitor the students, and currently we make sure that the current books are signed by the students' entry during the practice. They also sign when they're coming out. Mm. We provide even uh, locators, mm. so that we are in position to locate that, yes, the lecturer so-and-so has gone to supervise mm. in Southern Province, okay. in Northern Province, in Western Province, in Eastern Province. So we monitor them, but this one here makes sure that the students are actually doing well. Mm, what do you do uh, to the students maybe who, who have not done uh, the assignment? Do you help them? Uh, actually, when stud the students who don't, uh, sometimes it's, it's, not very easy, it's not very, very easy, mm. of course, to hand a student who is refusing to do the assignment. But sometimes it's always it's, it's practical. This is what we do. Mm. A student, first of all, in our university, First of all, must finish 85% mm. of the lecture hours. Mm. This student, he has to do individual assignment. Mm. For example, undergraduate, it is out of 10, uh, is 10 marks. Mm. Uh, you also have what we call uh, the group assignment out of 20. 
okay. graduate school 15, mm -hmm. a group assignment 15. And those ones there will now reflect mm -hmm. on the transcript. Okay. But because they reflect on the transcript, the students will not refuse. They will make sure they have done. Okay. If they don't do it, then at the end of the day, of course, they will not graduate. Okay. So it's very easy. The students always actually they make sure they have done. Mm. But of course, just like I've said, the University of Kigali makes sure that uh, during like uh, this uh, online system, uh, it's not very easy for students to cheat. Why? Because our students right now they are subjecting the individual assignment to the system. Okay. And the system now monitors. Mm. Individual have been is actually has been uh, uploaded mm. back. The lecturers mark. And after marking, even we put the limits of what time it will be submitted yes. and how it will be downloaded. Okay. So at the end of the day, the, 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 the system is in position to ratio. Okay. To ratioing how the lecturer is going to submit, how the students are also going to, at the end of the day, do, and then how it is going to be marked. Okay. So it's actually very easy that students even enjoy it. Okay. They enjoy it. Mm. As we're going to the end of our program, what can you say the maybe people who is in Musanze yes. yeah, who would like to join maybe your university? What can you say about that? Yo, uh, in Musanze, uh, what this is what I can say is that uh, University of Kigali has set up uh, the Musanze campus and the Musanze campus has got all the resources. So I would urge people of, specifically from Northern Province, mm. Western Province, all the way to Lubavu, uh, to join University of Kigali. Because all the courses being undergraduate, being graduate school we are offering. Okay. We are also offering mm. uh, the, the, the students, for example, the resources mm. are fully fledged. Because a student, will, when he is learning in Musanze, mm. of course, he will be accessible to the library. Okay. The laboratories are there. Mm. Actually, like currently, uh, you find that the, 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 the university has got well-spaced classes. Mm. One of it's a modern classes actually, I would say it's a modern class. Okay. So uh, what I'll do is that I'll welcome uh, the, the, the parents, the students uh, from all over the northern province, mm. uh, the western province, mm. to actually join the campus in Musanze. And uh, we are sure that uh, quality is done because we also have what it takes as a University of Kigali. Yes. Thank you so much, Doctor. Yes, thank you. Yeah, thank you who have been watching us. That was Flash Business. You are with me, Berjane Vizimana, with the doctor from the University of Kigali. I hope next time if we invite you, you'll come back to... Yes, I will come back. Yeah, yeah, of course. Thank you very much. Uh, just as I said, I'm Dr. Sanja Michael, the Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of academic. Mm. Yeah, I'm just so privileged uh, okay. to be with the... You have a good night, everyone who has been watching us. Thank you so much. Be with us. Uh, see you tomorrow at from 8.30 to 9. Bye bye. Business ni chiganiro. Chivumba kiyama kuri yubu kungu. Chira guhu za ni nzoberi na wajana ma mubi yubu kungu ndete ni shora mari. Abafite za business naam. Iyini yonzi rimgeru kumbi yoku guhu za nabachiria mazi shora mari diawari kagu.